which combination of properties would produce the smallest extension of a wire when the same tensile force is applied to that wire? And we're looking at changing cross-sectional area, length, and Young modulus. So the equation that relates all of these things together is Young modulus is equal to stress over strain. Stress is force divided by cross-sectional area, and strain is extension over length. This is then force over area divided by extension over length. So I'll just help you simplify this if you're not too sure. This is then force over area times length over extension. That is then FL over AX. So the question is asking us what properties produce the smallest extension. So let's rearrange that equation for X. Switch the X with the E. That then becomes FL over AE. We're told in the question that the same tensile force is applied to the wire, so F is a constant. So if F is a constant, we can then say that X is proportional to L over AE. So LAE are the things that are changing. Force is constant, so we can remove that from the proportionality. And then we can look at the table that we have here. So we're trying to make X as small as possible, so therefore we want to make this fraction as small as possible. So we're doing length divided by cross-sectional area times Young modulus. All of these things contain X, all of these contain L, all of these contain E. So we're only interested in the factors in front of those symbols. So looking at option A, considering just the factors in front of X, L, and E, doing L over AE, we get 3 over 1 times 1, which is just 3 over 1. For B, we get... 1, which is the factor in front of length, divided by 2 times 1, which is just 2. For option C, it's 3 over 4. And for option D, it's 1 over 2 times 4, so 1 over 8. And that's the smallest one. An eighth is the smallest fraction out of all of these, so our answer would then be D.